Welcome to the Joy of Music, featuring the First Lady of the Organ, Diane Bish. We invite you to meet great composers and performers, travel to Europe's ancient monasteries and snow-covered Alps, visit great historical cathedrals and beautiful lakes and gardens. Praise ye the Lord. Praise Him with stringed instruments and organs. Praise Him with a psaltery and harp. Praise Him with a trumpet. Let everything that hath breath praise the Lord. And now, Miss Diane Bish. Hello and welcome to the Joy of Music. Today we feature the preludes and fugues of Johann Sebastian Bach. Before we listen to the music, it is important to consider two of the most powerful elements of Bach's life and music. First, Bach took the music of his day to perfection, a perfection that has hardly been equaled even to this day. And secondly, the writing of Bach's music was an act of faith, and the performing of it was an act of worship. Whether sacred or secular, Bach wrote his music to the glory of God and in the service of God. We hear, first of all, on the program, his most famous Takara and Fugue in D minor.
Bach was mainly known in his lifetime as a virtuoso organist, and people were amazed with his art of registration and pedal virtuosity. His well-known jig fugue conveys the spirit of joy and gladness. And jig is exactly as it sounds. It is a dance for not only the hands, but the pedal as well. In the Jig Fugue, which we have just heard, Bach divided the virtuosity between the hands and the pedals. But in his well-known prelude in C major, the 9-8 prelude, Bach gives the virtuosity to the hands with constant running 16th notes up and down the keyboard. And the pedals, he gives the driving accent and rhythm, almost as if we are listening to a kettle drum or timpani in the orchestra. The accent is strong and powerful.
The prelude in fugue in D major of Bach is a piece of almost constant imitation. It is as though Bach said to himself, aha, I will write a piece that will show that the hands can do exactly what the feet do and vice versa. The prelude begins with a very brilliant pedal scale or run up the keyboard. The fugue, which again is constant imitation, ends with a pedal solo or cadenza.
Today on the program, we have featured the preludes and fugues of Johann Sebastian Bach. We have heard his virtuoso writing, and through that writing, we have experienced the very foundation and spine of Bach's music and life, his simple faith in a living God. This faith sustained Bach throughout his life and even through death. Bach looked forward to the time that he would meet his Master and Lord. And his very last composition was the chorale, Before Thy Throne, I Now Appear. Thank you so much for joining us today on The Joy of Music, and we look forward to seeing you again next week. <laughs>